Okay, this is the yarn I'm going to be using, and I'm going to make myself a, what I call a comfy shrug. It's very simple. It's out of the Bernat Baby Sport, and this is a ten and a half ounce skein. And going by the label, it says to take the label off, hold it like that, squish it, and then you'll find the, and then you'll find the center center of the skein. Was I'm a little bit leery of the center of the skein because it's never where you think it's going to be. You always end up pulling out a big mess. So, let's see. How big of a mess do I get? Oh, not any bad. So, I'm going to put this down in my pocket. Which is over to the left of me. Excuse me. Over to the right. And I put the yarn up from the back and then forward. Okay. <clears throat> and now let me get the end out of here. Wasn't so bad. Oh. There's the end. And to undo a knot, all you have to do is just gently tug at it, and it will usually undo. cast on approximately 100 stitches and I got my my bed kind of labeled so that's one section is 15 needles so I got one two three four five six seven seven sections so that bringing up my calculator so it's seven times fifteen wait a minute okay so we have seven times fifteen it's about 105 stitches so that should be enough and what we're making is something It'll resemble this. Except I haven't sewn this together yet. Look, this end I have. Okay. It's comfy, it's not tight around the, the wrist. And then you have the opening for your back. And I put a rib around the outside edge on both ends. I'll be back. I'll be back with that. I'll figure out a way to get it filmed so that we can see it. Okay. And I like to thread it through there. That, that is just, actually what it is, it's a curtain rod. It's a curtain ring. That you clip this part onto a curtain and then that slip over the rod. Okay, so I'm going to cast on these stitches. Now I'm not going to bore you with a whole lot of this because it's just straight knitting. Nothing fancy. Just do one.
You will see it in a moment. Okay, so I'm just doing a simple cast, crochet cast on. Up, grab thread and down. And then I'm going to do a rib. And I like doing about 20 rows worth of the rib. And that early one I did just a simple rib. This time I think I'm going to do the mock fisherman rib. That's where you, excuse me, drop just a thread. That's where you um, drop the ladder and you skip every other one and let it float in between. I might just leave it on the cord, but I'll fast forward it. That way you'll just see it grow. Okay. Sorry if we got any background noises. I forgot to tell them I was going to record. Now this one I'm going to... Hold on. So I got my needles all threaded. And, uh, untangle my yarn right down here in the basket. Just make, double check and make sure I have no knots. I will be back. Well, I'm going to knit my, I think I might do probably 20 rows. Okay. All right, put the needles into work position. Put the board out of the way. Make sure. The latches are all open. Okay. Bring the carriage over, and I'm using the key plate two. Okay. Two. So we need the first row. Very slow. And that's mainly because I don't have any weights on it just yet. I'll be putting the weights on as soon as I get this row knitted. There we go. I hang it, bring my board back up, bring the stitches forward just a little bit so that I can hang the weights without catching, splitting the yarn. Okay, 
What I do is I'll hang it on the end and I'll hang it in the center. Then I'll do in the center of that. And I just keep putting it into the center until there's a goodly amount of weight on it. Center. And I keep a few handy just in case the stitches bubble up. Because when they start to bubble, that tells me that they're, it does not have enough weight on them. Now if you've got the, if you're still using the black hem, go ahead and do your cast on. And if you've only got one bed, just use one just use the, all needles. Five needles short is not going to make, sorry about that, it's not going to make that big of a difference. Excuse the phone call please, someone will get it. And there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and knit my 20 rows off camera and I will be back. Okay, reset my row counter to zero to one actually. And away I go knitting.
<coughs> okay, I have 20 stitches. Stitches, right. I have 20 rows, excuse me. And I am going to knit. I'm going to convert these two. I'll be back. Okay. I'm going to do every row. Just ladder down. And this yarn is real easy to ladder it down. Mm. Sorry. There. This row is real easy to ladder down. What we're going to do is going to skip the one, pick up the next, and let the float just float in there. Okay, because I, I like this one for its speed and for its softness. Now, when I get this row done, I'll be back. Okay. And I'm just going to do that all the way across. Okay. 